therapy rooms have become therapy zoos. Unsynchronized lip sounding, how are you? Replace hot mugs passed between cupped hands. We let each other in, a view into our homes through pixelated windows. We speak over each other in the lapse of connection. The language of disorder has lost its meaning when the order is madness inducing. The helpers need helping, as death cues are coughed up onto streets littered with mud-stained masks. But we keep wading through, hot breath rebounding under fabric, smiling eyes say more than muzzled mouths. Psychologists hand-stitch a chest pocket of calm on the overspilling hospital ward. Fill it with peppermint oil, a place for nurses to count their own breath. We walk into a homeless hostel of 54 beds, speak through shielded screens to the bare-faced and wet-eyed. Therapy becomes ringing every person at the council to advocate for housing because drawing a hot cross bun in session three of CBT isn't gonna bring back your mum so she can rest a warm kiss on your forehead just one last time. A thousand chants of Black Lives Matter tear through white corridors and slippery floors of psychology offices and lecture halls. Some psychologists try and wash their hands clean of harm, whilst black and brown palms dripping with grief are reaching for each other. The helped are helping, the unhelped are helping, the bare-necked are guiding the lanyard wearing, and everyone's upper lip is sweaty. We all lay flat sometimes, asking for the earth to hold us. But when the ground is trembling and opening, how can any of us walk steady? We all lay flat sometimes, asking for the earth to hold us. The arms of the sun will break through the shifting shapes of cloud.